Farmers around the world are feeling the effects of climate change on their crops. In South Korea, some have turned to alternative ways of working. Lim Yun Suk tells us more. Taringi village in the northern Gyeongsang province is known for its terraced rice paddies. Rice is usually grown from around May. And in winter, farmers will switch to growing spinach and garlic, which are more adaptable to cold weather. But rice harvests were very bad in 2019 because of unusually strong typhoons and long periods of drought. And so the farmers say that they're trying to come up with new crops to grow to fight climate change and global warming. And that's Kim Ho Young's task to find ways to protect farmers' livelihoods at this village. Mugwort is a healing herb that has seen a surge in demand in recent years thanks to its antibacterial, antifungal and skin protective properties. This farmer, who used to grow rice, garlic and other crops, is now growing mugwort. Not the usual mugwort found in many parts of the country, but these same mugworts. Pei Won Yol, who created the same variety and under his name it is registered, says his mugwort plants are sensitive to weather conditions and can only grow in greenhouses. And instead of pesticides, garlic is being used to kill pests. Name some mugger can be used in many ways, like as a healthy drink. And nothing goes to waste. The residue will be dried and used in moxibustion, a traditional medicine therapy that's popular in South Korea. The agriculture sector is an important part of the Korean economy. Rice is the most important crop, and that accounts for about 90% of the total grain production and about 40% of farm income. New crops like Namhae Samhae Mugrit will play a crucial role in South Korea's strategy to ease farmers into a more sustainable model before climate change becomes worse. Lim Yansuk, CNA, Gyeongsang Province, South Korea.